The Supreme Court's 6-3 ruling in favor of former police officer Joseph Fisher, seeking to dismiss an obstruction charge related to the Capitol riot, has significant implications. The court concluded that the law, 18 U.S. Code 1512, was intended narrowly to cover evidence tampering, not broader actions as prosecutors argued. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote that the government's expansive interpretation would criminalize routine conduct. This decision impacts Fisher's case and potentially affects over 1,400 January 6 cases, although most defendants face multiple charges. The ruling may not alter charges against former President Trump. The decision has stirred debate over the interpretation of obstruction laws and their application in politically charged cases like those stemming from the January 6 riot. Attorney General Merrick Garland expressed disappointment, noting its implications for ongoing January 6 prosecutions. Meanwhile, supporters of the ruling argue it upholds constitutional limits on criminal statutes, ensuring clarity and fairness in legal proceedings.